I've cheated multiple times in my life. All of these affairs occurred during long-term serious relationships, typically around the second or third year of their duration. When I was with someone for a while, I'd often start feeling like that person was limiting my options and that they were with me out of habit, rather than love. I never really thought about resolving this issue differently. I found new partners in various places. Once, I met a pharmacist at a pharmacy. Other times, it was at parties or through friends of friends. There were even a couple of instances involving colleagues from work. I'll elaborate on one of those. At that point, I was already three years into a relationship, living with my boyfriend and working at an advertising agency. A new copywriter joined our team. We became involved, and our intimate relationship began in the meeting room. I started staying late at work. I didn't bring him home since my boyfriend was freelancing at the time. Occasionally, I'd meet the lover at his place, but he lived with his parents, which wasn't very convenient. Then I wanted to end this affair and pretend like nothing had happened. However, the lover began blackmailing me with our personal correspondence. I couldn't just leave, so I waited for things to somehow resolve themselves. Interestingly, my boyfriend was incredibly jealous and already suspected me of cheating. I dreaded the culmination of this situation paranoia was eating me alive. One day, my lover and I were hugging in the subway when we accidentally bumped into my boyfriend. That was enough. That night, I had to move in with a friend. I started dating the lover, and he became my boyfriend. He was quite an eccentric person, and the relationship with him posed a serious challenge for me. I cheated on him as well, more than once. I changed jobs and, at a company event, I met a guy with whom I subsequently cheated. I visited him at his place. Once, when my boyfriend wasn't home, I even brought a new lover to my place and introduced him to my neighbors the next morning. Then I pretended like nothing happened. My boyfriend had no idea. Another time, I cheated on him during a fight. My boyfriend said he wouldn't be able to spend the evening with me, so I went to visit an acquaintance I had only met once before. I struggled with very low self-esteem and, for some reason, tried to improve it through external relationships, flings on the side, and sex with whomever. Stable, good relationships weren't enough for me, I quickly lost faith in their value. After these escapades, I'd feel good for a short while, as if I had earned a high grade. Extramarital affairs are truly draining, and after I got what I wanted, I aimed to end them. After all, I didn't actually need these particular people, I was just using them to compensate for my internal deficiencies.